I was employed at the Baker IDI, a Heart and Diabetes Institute, for nine years, where I led the Cellular Molecular Metabolism Laboratory and also was um, a head of a program there called um, Inflammation and Metabolism. And I've come to the Garvin Institute to lead the Diabetes and Metabolism Division, which I'm honoured to do because it is a very uh, well-respected and um, historical department in the area of metabolic disease. The Garvin works on a series of diseases, uh, cancer, bone disease, neurological diseases, immunology and metabolic disease. And But the way that the researchers in the Institute conduct their work is very closely aligned. My work uh, is not just in the diabetes space. I have um, interest in Alzheimer's disease, in rheumatoid arthritis, in certain forms of cancer, because obesity is a, is a disorder that underpins many of these diseases. So the ability to work with other great scientists who have expertise in these other diseases, where we can share ideas, share resources, and use the, the great um, platforms that are at the Garvin is something that was really appealing to me, and it really excites me about the, the future and the work I can do here. One of the things that, that has to be at the forefront of our minds as scientists uh, is that we really are a servant to the taxpayer. Most of our funds come from the National Health and Medical Research Council, and the money that is given to us um, to do our work and indeed to pay our salaries is, uh, is at, from the health budget, which clearly means that the taxpayers are footing the bill for our work. With this in mind, I'm trying to instill in the people in the division that we are actually servants to the taxpayer and that our work has to be, uh, whilst basic in nature in some instances, it really has to have an opportunity for clinical translation. And, and my goal is to get everybody in the division thinking like that, that the ultimate goal is to develop new treatments and indeed pathways for cure for some of these complex metabolic diseases. Of course, the National Health and Medical Research Council budget is limited and, and quite often the biggest discoveries that are made are serendipitous discoveries that are made indeed by accident, uh, which, which ultimately can even result in um, Nobel Prize winning discoveries. These types of blue sky discoveries really rely upon philanthropy and um, you know I can't impress enough onto um, people who would like to support the Garvin through the Garvin Foundation that that the work of the Garvin Foundation and the people who support uh, the Garvin Institute through um, philanthropic donations no matter how small make a real important impact on our ability to do some of the more risky experiments that could ultimately lead to the biggest discoveries.